Hi, I'm just back from a slew of appointments with clients. And I saw it again. I saw something I see with my coaching, mentoring, and consulting clients, and talking to nonprofit leaders in general. And that is, you'd like to do your most important fundraising activity, but you don't get it. You don't get to it. You don't have established a great promotional plan giving program. Listen up, I'll tell you how you can have one. I help nonprofit leaders lead from vision, not fear. And one of the things that people realize when they're leading from with vision is that plan gifts are one of their best fundraising opportunity. Here's why. Plan gifts follow the rules of seven. Plan gifts average $70,000. They take seven years to come to fruition, which means if you get told today, it'll be about seven years before you see anything happening in your bank account. They also follow another rule of seven, and that is the 70% rule. And that is that if you receive a plan gift from, from someone, their annual gift on average goes up by over 70%. A plan gift is simply a gift that has a plan behind it. If you pass around the plate at your next event and someone drops in $1,000, that's not a planned gift, although it'd be quite welcome. Instead, it's when your retired board member decides to leave a gift to you in their will. Wills are only one kind of planned gift, but it's the most common kind. So how can you take advantage of this huge opportunity to get planned gifts into your organization? You can take advantage of the planned gifts by creating a drip marketing campaign. It's a campaign of promotions of planned gifts. Unlike your event promotion that's short term, it really is going to stretch the rest of your organization's time. But is it worth it? Is it worth it to get a $70,000 gift? That's usually more than many nonprofits earn at their biggest special event every year. And if you're a bigger organization, have a more robust mailing list, 70,000 is probably a low number for you. So. Decide it's worth it, that's the first step. And then the next step is open your calendar and every month, the rest of this year, and then put it on your calendar to do at the start of the new year, add a 90 minute time block. And I'll tell you what you're gonna do in that time block next. Good for you, it's on your agenda and you're ready to get to work. What should you do? identify sticky places in your nonprofit. A sticky place is any time you're gonna see something over and over again. It's really sticky to you. Your newsletter, you do a newsletter every month, that's a great place to add a planned giving message. Your board agenda, another sticky place. You see this agenda every time you have a meeting, you may take the old one and you do the new one. So having a template is a good example of where a sticky place might be. You can take the most important hardest to do thing off your to-do list. If you'd like some help, reach out to me. And let me tell you one more thing about planned gifts and why they're so critical. Money tomorrow, money very soon when you do your annual appeal. But more than that, hope right now. Plan gift and plan gift work helps your organization to know that better days are coming with more resources for your mission.